Fish come in all shapes and colors. Let's dive underwater and meet five fish you won't believe exist. The ocean is a mysterious playground, filled with creatures that are super cool, weird, and sometimes funny. Today I'm taking you beneath the waves to meet some of the most amazing fish ever. Have you ever wondered what it's like to live in a coral reef? Or how some fish can change colors or even genders? Grab your snorkel and goggles, because we're about to meet fish that can hide in poison, sleep in bubbles, and even help build beaches. Ready? Let's splash in and begin our adventure. Meet the clownfish. These little fish are some of the most recognizable creatures in the ocean, thanks to their bright colors and playful personalities. These tiny fish are super bright, with orange, white, and black stripes that make them look like swimming candy. Their bold patterns help them stand out in the bustling world of the coral reef, almost as if they're wearing costumes for an underwater parade. Clownfish live in sea anemones, wiggly animals with stinging tentacles. The anemone's tentacles look soft and inviting, but they're actually covered in tiny stingers that can hurt most fish. Most fish stay away, but not clownfish. They're best buddies with anemones. Clownfish have a special slime on their skin that protects them from the stings, letting them swim safely among the tentacles where other fish wouldn't dare to go. The clownfish gets protection from big hungry fish by hiding in the anemone's stingers, and in return, it cleans the anemone and brings it food. This partnership is called symbiosis, where both animals help each other survive in the wild ocean. It's teamwork at its best. The clownfish and the anemone are like neighbors who always look out for each other, making sure both are safe and happy. If you see a clownfish peeking out, it's probably keeping a close eye on everything. Clownfish are very alert and always watching for danger or for a tasty snack floating by. Did you know all clownfish are born male? That's right. Every single one starts life as a boy, which is pretty unusual in the animal kingdom. The biggest one becomes the boss and turns into a female. She's the leader of the group, and only she and her chosen male mate will lay eggs and start a family. If something happens to her, the next biggest male changes into a female and takes her place. This amazing ability helps the group survive and keeps their family strong. Clownfish live in warm coral reefs, mostly in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. These reefs are found in places like Australia, Indonesia, and the Philippines, where the water is clear and full of life. These reefs are like underwater cities, filled with colorful fish and fun hiding spots. There are tunnels, caves, and coral towers, making it a perfect playground for clownfish and their friends. Clownfish are super loyal and rarely leave their home. They spend almost their entire lives within a few feet of their anemone venturing out only for food or to chase away intruders. In real life, clownfish aren't as adventurous as Nemo. They like to stay close to home and keep their family safe. Their strong family bonds help them survive in the busy reef. Clownfish make popping and clicking sounds to talk to each other, like their own secret language. These sounds help them warn each other about danger or call their friends for dinner. Even though they're small, clownfish are brave and defend their home from bigger fish. They'll dart out and chase away intruders, showing that even the tiniest creatures can be fierce protectors. Daddy Clownfish takes care of the eggs by fanning them with his fins until they hatch. He keeps them clean and safe, making sure the next generation of clownfish gets a good start in life. Next time you're at an aquarium, look for clownfish wiggling in their anemone homes. They'll make you smile. These colorful homebodies are a reminder that sometimes the best adventures happen right at home, surrounded by family and friends. Let's meet the lionfish. These striking fish are some of the most eye-catching creatures you'll ever see in the ocean. With their bold stripes and dramatic fins, they look like they're dressed up for a fancy underwater party. This fish is one of the fanciest dressers in the ocean. Their bodies are decorated with vibrant patterns that help them stand out, but also serve as a warning to others. Lionfish have long flowing fins that look like a lion's mane and their bodies are covered in beautiful red, white, and brown stripes. These stripes aren't just for show. They help the lionfish blend in with waving sea plants and coral, making them expert ambush predators. But watch out. Those pretty fins are hiding a big secret. Lionfish are venomous. Their beauty is matched by their danger, making them both fascinating and a little bit fearsome. Their striped fins warn predators to stay away. 
The bold colors and patterns act like a stop sign in the sea, telling other animals, don't mess with me. Each lionfish has 18 venomous spines. Yikes. These spines are sharp and can deliver a painful sting to anything that gets too close, including humans. If a hungry fish or diver gets too close, the lionfish can poke them with its spines. The venom isn't usually deadly to people, but it can cause swelling, pain, and even nausea. Lionfish are native to the Indo-Pacific, but now you can find them in the Atlantic and Caribbean, where they're considered invasive. They were likely introduced by accident, and now they're spreading fast. In new places, lionfish eat lots of little fish and have no natural enemies, which can cause problems for coral reefs. They gobble up young fish that are important for keeping reefs healthy, and their numbers keep growing. Even though lionfish are troublemakers in some places, they're really cool to look at. Their movements are mesmerizing, and their fins ripple like delicate fans as they swim. Their fins move like feathers, and they glide through the water so gracefully. Watching a lionfish swim is like seeing a living piece of art in motion. Lionfish use their fins to herd small fish before gobbling them up. They spread their fins wide to corner their prey, making it almost impossible for the little fish to escape. When it's time for a snack, they open their mouths super wide and suck in their food like a vacuum. This quick strike is almost too fast to see. If you ever see a lionfish at an aquarium, remember, never touch. Their spines can sting. Instead, admire their beauty from a safe distance and watch how they move. Lionfish babies called larvae float in the ocean currents before finding a reef to call home. These tiny drifters are almost invisible, but they'll soon grow into the striking adults we see on the reefs, ready to start the cycle all over again. Now let's take a look at the Moorish Idol. This fish is like a swimming piece of art with bright white, black and yellow stripes. Moorish idols have a long, ribbon-like dorsal fin that trails behind them as they swim, making them look extra fancy. They're found near coral reefs in warm, tropical oceans, exploring cracks and crevices for snacks like sponges and algae. Their pointy mouths help them reach into places other fish can't. People often confuse Moorish idols with angelfish, but Moorish idols have a super long nose and a thin trailing fin. Moorish idols are usually seen swimming in pairs, sticking close to their buddies as they explore the reef. In aquariums, it's hard to keep Moorish idols healthy because they like to eat special foods from the ocean. If a predator comes close, they can dart away quickly or hide in a coral crack. Moorish idol babies called fry start out with shorter fins and get their fancy streamer as they grow. Next time you watch a cartoon or movie with ocean fish, see if you can spot a Moorish idol. They're real life superstars. Get ready for a fish with a big bite. Meet the parrotfish, named for its strong, beak-like teeth. Parrotfish use their teeth to bite off chunks of coral, which helps build tropical beaches. After they crunch up the coral, their tummies digest the algae inside, and the leftover bits come out as sand. That means some of the soft sand you feel at the beach started as coral, thanks to parrotfish. These fish are like underwater lawnmowers, keeping the coral reefs clean and healthy. Parrotfish come in lots of amazing colors, blue, green, yellow, pink, and even rainbow. Some parrotfish change colors as they grow up, and some can even change from a girl to a boy, or vice versa. At night, parrotfish sleep in a slimy, see-through bubble to keep away predators. Parrotfish are usually found in big groups, swimming around coral reefs in tropical places. The next time you're at the beach, think about all the work parrotfish do to help make the sand. Last but not least, let's meet the Napoleon Ras. This remarkable fish is sometimes called the Humphead Ras because of the big bump on its forehead. It's one of the most recognizable and fascinating creatures you'll ever see in the ocean. The Napoleon Rasa is one of the largest reef fish in the world, and when you see one swimming by, it's impossible not to be amazed by its sheer size and presence. These gentle giants can grow over two meters long, that's as big as a sofa, or even longer than some people at all. They can weigh up to 180 kilograms, making them true heavyweights of the reef. Despite their massive size, Napoleon Rasses are known for their gentle and peaceful nature. Divers often describe encounters with them as magical, since these fish seem curious but never aggressive. 
One of their most unique features is their thick, fleshy lips and the prominent bump on their forehead, which looks a bit like a crown or a helmet, giving them a regal appearance among reef fish. These gentle giants make their homes in the warm blue waters of the Indo-Pacific. You'll find them gliding through coral reefs near Southeast Asia, Australia and the Red Sea, where the water is clear and full of life. Napoleon wrasses are always on the lookout for tasty snacks. Their diet includes crabs, sea urchins, mollusks, and even some of the most dangerous creatures on the reef, like poisonous starfish. In fact, they play a vital role in protecting coral reefs by eating crown of thorns starfish, which can destroy entire sections of coral if left unchecked. Without the Napoleon wrasse, many reefs would be in serious trouble. Even though they're strong and important for the ecosystem, Napoleon wrasses are actually quite shy. They prefer to glide slowly and gracefully around the reef, often hiding among the corals to avoid attention. These fish can live for a really long time, up to 30 years or more. As they age, their colors become even more vivid, with bright blues and greens that shimmer in the sunlight. Another fascinating fact is that Napoleon wrasses start life as females, and as they grow older, some of them change into males. This ability to change sex is called sequential hermaphroditism, and it helps keep their populations healthy. Sadly, these amazing fish are now considered endangered because of overfishing and habitat loss. That's why they're protected in many places, and scientists are working hard to make sure they don't disappear from our oceans. The Napoleon Rasa proves you don't have to be scary to be strong. They're true ocean heroes, quietly helping to keep coral reefs healthy for generations to come. Wow, we've met some of the most amazing fish in the ocean today, each one more fascinating than the last. From the brave clownfish to the fancy lionfish, every fish has something special that makes it unique and memorable. The Moorish idol showed us its artistic stripes and graceful movements. The parrotfish taught us how beaches are made, munching on coral and creating soft sand. And the Napoleon wrasse proved that gentle giants really do exist in the deep blue sea. Thanks for swimming with us and sharing this underwater adventure. The ocean is full of fishy surprises, and there's always something new and exciting to discover. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and never stop having fun with our amazing ocean friends everywhere.